Hello everyone! I'm here for a new video and for today's video I will be joining the top five Wednesday group tag thing. Not sure what it actually is. It was started by Ginger Reads Laney and there is a Goodreads group you can join to see what the topic is for each Wednesday. I will link everything down below where you can check it out. Today's top five Wednesday topic is top five chapter headings. <laughs> I almost forgot. Top five chapter headings. This one was quite hard for me because like on the go I couldn't really think of any chapter headings that I really liked. And then I had to look through a few of my books and noticed that a lot of chapters are just quite boring, actually. Just my opinion. But I found five books in which I really liked the chapter, ch chapter or title headings, and I will show them to you. At number five is Jellica Road by Melina Marchetta. These chapter headings aren't really that special. It just says chapter one, two, three, and so on. So I really just liked the font in these chapters. I hope you can see. Really simple, but nice. Number four is Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. This is one of my absolute favorite books, and in this one I really like the font of the chapter headings. This is what it looks like. It's in all caps. And it doesn't even say chapter, it's just the number. Again, really simple, but I like the font. And number three is Marley's Ghost by David Levithan. I think that's how you pronounce his name. I actually just finished this book. In this book, this doesn't really have chapters, but Stave, it's, I guess it's like part one, two, three, something like that. And for each chapter, there's this tree and a bench. It starts off with this tiny tree and the bench. And by the next chapter, the tree is a little bit bigger. And it just keeps going on like that in this book. And I thought that was really cute. And we are up to number two, which is Delirium by Lauren Oliver. I actually remembered these chapter headings from back when I read it. Um, it's been a while since I've read it, but I remembered these chapter headings because I just... Love them so much. Number of the chapter is actually written in cursive and then there are these little birds every time and I think that's a really cute idea. Number one. I haven't actually read this book. I've just started it. I'm at like page three or something. No, six. But before I even started this I, had, I flipped through the book and noticed the gorgeous chapter headings and I fell in love and I knew this was going to be my number one. And it is A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Maas. Now people have been raving about this book. Each chapter has like these thorns hanging through it and I don't know what it is about it but I just really liked that. Let me go back to focus. So those were my top five chapter headings for this week's top five Wednesday. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Check out the Goodreads group and join if if you want. It's quite cool, I think, that so many people are joining this and it's a nice community. Comment down below, talk about your favorite chapter headings. Maybe there are some that I know that I maybe missed in my books. Links to all my social media will be down below, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!